right, welcome back. This is chapter five. In chapter four, Granny died. So sad. Um, so things have changed for Lena and Poppy. This one is called chapter five, A Dreadful Discovery. So now it looks like we're at Miss Murdo's, the neighbor. The singing's coming up soon. Do you know your part? Yes, I, I think it's my favorite day of the year. When you come back from work, we'll talk about how to proceed. Proceed? Well, you can't live by yourself, just the two of you, can you? We can't. Certainly not. With your grandmother gone, who's to take care of Poppy while you go off doing delivery messages? You must move in here with me. I have an empty bedroom, after all, and quite a nice one. Come and look. Oh. Okay, I kind of gave it away. We didn't know that yet. Um, this will be your room. Yours and Poppy's. You'll have to share the bed, but it's big enough. It's lovely. You're so kind, Miss Murdo. Well, it's just common sense. You need a place. I have one. You go on now, and I'll see you later. <clears throat> so she's walking the supply depot. So this is where they're going to, where people get their goods, food, things that they need. Oh, who's that? Recognize her. Lizzie? Ah! <gasps> Look at her face. How do you think she's feeling? Oh, uh, I was just going home. I'll walk with you. Oh, okay, good. Lizzie, something sad has happened. My grandmother died, but our neighbor has taken us in, and that's made it a little better. At least we're not alone. Oh, that's too bad. Hmm. Um, what's in the sack? Oh, just some groceries. It was so busy today at work. Uh, work is so hard, isn't it? I get so tired running around all... <coughs> she falls. Things come out of her bag. <gasps> What's that? One rolls to the little kids, playing marbles. <clears throat> Applesauce! Yeah, I found that on the back shelf at the market. Uh, what, a, what a surprise. Look, her face is turning red. You, you can keep it. What? Peaches. Wait a second. What did we learn about peaches? What did we learn? But Lizzie, this kind of food hasn't been seen in years. Gotta run. Uh, bye. Lizzie, stop. Tell me the truth about where you got these cans. All right, I'll tell you. I sort of wanted to anyways. There's a storeroom worker named Looper. He's a carrier. Do you know him? Looper. We do know him. We met him in the beginning of the book. I know who he is. I took a message for him on my first day of work. Tall, with a long skinny neck, big teeth, funny looking. Well, I want to describe him that way. I think he's handsome. Looper explores the storerooms, Lena. He wants to know the true situation. And what has he found out? That there's still a little bit left of some rare things, just a few things in rooms here and there that have been forgotten. So he's been taking things and giving them to you? Yes, because he likes me. But that's stealing. Don't you think everyone should know about the food he's found? No. Listen, I'll ask Looper to find some for you, too. I know he will if I ask him. I don't want anything from Looper. Would you guys take anything from Looper? Hmm. <sighs> okay, too bad for you. Lizzie walks off. Five blocks away, five, five blackouts in a row occurred during the week. There had never been so many so close together. Fewer people stood around talking in groups under the lights in the squares. Now, they don't want to do that because there's been five blackouts where they're stuck, just like Lena was in the beginning with Izzy, or with um, Poppy. Instead, they would pause briefly to murmur a few words to each other, <clears throat> and then hasten onward. Hello. And then they walked. They didn't want to waste time outside. The citizens of Ember were hunkering down, burrowing in. Lena! Lena, the door! I opened it. You did? How? I thought I would check it out again just in case, but this time there was a key in the lock. Is it the way out? It doesn't lead out of Ember. It leads to a big room filled with 
food, clothes, boxes, and cans, and someone was there in the middle of it all, asleep. Who? Who's that, guys? Look at that. He's got boxes. He's got stains on his shirt. <clears throat> The mayor, that's the solution he keeps telling us about. It's a solution for him, not the rest of us. He doesn't care about the city. All he cares about is his fat stomach. What will we do? Tell everyone, tell the whole city, the mayor is robbing us. Wait, let's go sit in the Harkin Square. I have something to tell you too. So they go into Harkin Square. Look, and there's people protesting. We want answers. We want solutions. What solutions, Mayor Cole? <clears throat> Soon, coming soon. Lizzie, Lord, listen, I saw Lizzie after work. Her, her new friend Looper works in the storerooms. He's been finding rare things there and stealing them. That's two of them doing it then. There's more. Remember how I thought there was something familiar about the man we saw in the pipeworks? It was Looper and Dune. He once gave me a message to take to the mayor. It said delivery at eight. Of course. Why didn't I get it before? There's a hatch in the ceiling near the door. It must go right up to the storerooms. Looper uses it to deliver loads of food. We have to think what to do. If this were an ordinary situation, the mayor would be the one to tell. But the mayor's the one committing the crime. So then we should tell the guards. They're next in authority to the mayor. Then you, then you and I can get back to figuring out the instructions. I don't know. We might be all wrong about the instructions. I think maybe they're just hogwash. Hogwash? What's that? It means nonsense. I read it in a book in the library. But they can't be nonsense. Why would they have been kept in a box like that with that strange lock? We'll figure it out tomorrow. Right now, let's go find the guards. Wait, I have one more thing to tell you. What? My grandmother died. What? Oh... That's so sad. I'm sorry. Now, how did Dune act differently than her friend Lizzie? When she said that to Lizzie, what happened? When she said it to Dune, what happened? Who do you think's the good friend now? Oh, look at Dune. Thanks. Well, let's go talk to the guards. Okay. They go to Harkin Square. They go inside the mayor's building. Sir, we need to speak with you. We've discovered that the mayor is hoarding food. <clears throat> the mayor? Are you sure? Dune saw him in the secret room in the pipeworks, a storeroom worker is collecting food and supplies and bringing them to him. You mean the mayor stealing? That's right. We thought you should be informed because who else can arrest the mayor and tell the city that a mayor, that the, a new mayor has to be found? Something must be done. This is shocking. Shocking. Action will be taken. You may be sure of be sure. Some sort of action quite soon. Good. Thank you. They're looking at him. Hey guys, come here. They're pretty happy. What do you think he's telling them? That's the end of chapter five. A lot happened there. So what do you think is gonna happen? They told the guards. The mayor stealing, so was Looper. <clears throat> and remember, people don't have a lot of food. And these people high up in power are stealing. What do you predict will happen next? Until next time, Chapter 6. Bye.